Hi there, my name is George Hall and welcome to a series of tutorials on the Behringer Neutron Synth, the uh, semi-modular synth. The reason it's semi-modular is that you've got knobs and things like uh, over here and you've also got a patch bear which allows you access to finer details of, of connectability. Um, one of the reasons why the Neutron um, is so good I mean, first of all, it's exceptionally reasonably priced, but it's got everything on there that you would have expected um, even when Walter Carlos was making his Switched On Bark album and um, Tamita was making his uh, Debussy um, CD, Snowflakes Are Dancing, they use modular synths, but it's possible to get lots of those sounds on the Neutron. The basic setup of the synth is we've got the oscillator section here, the filter little strip here, we've got an LFO, which is low frequency oscillator for modulation purposes. We've got uh, noise, VCA bias. I'll be talking about all of these things in detail a bit later on. We've got two envelopes um, and we've got an overdrive section and a bucket brigade delay section. Over here, we've got various uh, controls for uh, fine tuning um, for things like sample and hold, uh, portamento, uh, and instead of having dedicated knobs for particular um, depth controls, we've got two attenuators. Uh, the attenuators are just like having another set of knobs for uh, modulation purposes. On here, we've got ins sorry <laughs> and over here we've got outputs and inputs to uh, fine-tune the signal chain and now I'm going to set up the init patch so in the oscillator section I want the oscillator mix all the way down we want the tuning to near as possible to central all the way up there we want a medium um, designation here which just happens to be sawtooth and a medium on the width control. We don't need anything on uh, the second VCO2, but we may as well set that up just like uh, VCO1, which is here. So the tune control in the middle. Um, both of these range controls can toggle through 32 up to eight foot. There we are. And now the filter section, filter, all the way around here, resonance all the way down there, modulation depth down, envelope depth down, the mode is in low pass mode. LFO, um, we can have the LFO shape all the way across to sine wave and the rate can be zero for the moment. Noise needs to be zero, VCA bias needs to be zero, um, the, all of the de delay controls need to be zero. You do need actually some level in this section, which is level here and tone is in the middle, drive is zero. And the envelopes I've set up for envelope one, zero, decay zero, sustain maximum, um, release zero. On envelope two, slight difference envelope one, in as much as we want that zero, this about halfway, this at zero and this at zero. Um, all of these controls here need to be at zero, which they are. Now the volume you'll need to um, match up with any equipment they're using, i.e. a mixer. And this is the sound. And as you will see with all of these videos, at the top of the screen, there'll be a picture of the patch with all the little settings that you need. So the Behringer Neutron comes with a quick start guide and on page 40 and 41, it uh, shows you uh, about usable configure options, configurable options and features. So you can customize these features to your own preferences. Um, the assignable output, which is this jack over here, um, has got five options. I like to have it on mod wheel, but I will be explaining the other four options in other tutorials. Um, the second option 
here on the right is envelope re-triggering. I like to have the envelope re-triggering every time, so I set that up. Um, what other options have we got? Well, um, there's also an update to the Behringer, uh, which is on version 2. This is actually version 1, but it will tell you about tuning uh, and things like that. So um, that's, that's an explanation of that page for you there. So after the envelope re-triggering, it's got um, a blendable or switched oscillator shape. I like to have it on blendable, uh, as is uh, oscillator 2, but you can it shows you how to alter those there. And I like to have the blendable option on the LFO as well. So the things to look out for on the initial patch is you need the level control up on the overdrive uh, circuit here. You need the output volume up. You also need MIDI channel 1, which is uh, accessible at the back there. If you want it on MIDI channel 1 or whichever MIDI channel um, is best for you, that's, that's available on the back. Um, one pitfall that I fell into uh, when I opened the box is I, I turned the filter all the way up to open, but I'd forgotten that this switch is necessary as well. So they've got three options here. We've got high pass, band pass and low pass. On the init setting, we want it as low pass. Yeah, other things to watch out for might be to get the um, oscillators absolutely bang on in tune. And in version two of this, you've got um, controls which are available via your computer to tune the synth, but it will um, automatically tune on power up. One final thing worth mentioning is this control here, VCA bias. If that's turned up, you'll get a continuous sound. And I'm sure that many ARP Odyssey users have um, used the slider that, that's got the same effect as that and wondered why can't I stop the sound. Well, that's going to be it on the Neutron.